SIBO or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth can be pretty complicated to treat. And sometimes when you take probiotics and prebiotics, it can make your symptoms worse. So today we're gonna to focus on the best prebiotic for SIBO symptoms. I'm Dr. Shelley Meyer, I'm a registered dietitian, functional medicine doctor, and family doctor, and I'm here on this channel on a mission to help you heal your gut, reclaim your gut health, and reclaim the magic of feeling well. So if you believe in this mission, if you want to support this mission and share it out, that would be great. Share this video out, like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Friday. So today we're going to talk about SIBO a bit and about prebiotics. Now, prebiotics are different from probiotics. Probiotics are healthy. Um, strains of bacteria that you take either in food or in a supplement form and they exist already in your your intestine usually and you take them to help you know various symptoms and help improve gut health prebiotics are the food for intestinal bacteria and our hope in using that that type of food um, undigestible fiber it is is to help feed the good bacteria. But the problem is when you have dysbiosis, when there's an imbalance in the gut bacteria, whether it be in the upper intestine, like with SIBO, so that stands for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, so you know, dysbiosis in the upper intestine, or in the large intestine, both can create problems in pain and bloating and constipation and diarrhea and IBS kind of symptoms, um, and even skin problems and energy problems and brain problems brain fog, all that kind of stuff that I've talked about in a lot of my other videos. So the either imbalance can create that. Now today we're focusing more on the small intestinal bacterial overgrowth called SIBO. Um, there's also CFO, where you have small intestinal fungal overgrowth, so it's not always bacteria. But regardless, when you um, have this dis imbalance, you can have worsening symptoms when you take a prebiotic or a probiotic. So prebiotics you don't always take in the form of a supplement, though they can be in with supplements or on their own as a supplement, or in with probiotics or on their own as a supplement, but you also have them in food. Um, unripe bananas, um, which a lot of people like the ripe ones, but legumes, leeks, garlic, onions, um, apples, dandelion greens, asparagus, uh, Jerusalem artichokes, all of those things, all those foods that are good for us in a lot of ways can act like prebiotics, feeding the good bacteria. But when you have an imbalanced microbiome, whether it be small intestine or large intestine, when you have SIBO in particular, and you take a prebiotic or you eat a prebiotic food, you can get worsening of your bloating and symptoms because you're feeding that bad bacteria. You're having, you're creating more of that imbalance. So you usually need to hold off on those foods while you're trying to treat the SIBO until you start to feel better and then you gradually add them back. And that can also be known or a subset of, or a way of doing that is the low FODMAP diet. And I've had videos on that and I can hook up again the, the app here for the Monash University low FODMAP app. So you could try following that diet, but there is a prebiotic supplement that I like um, called Sun Fiber, which is the brand name, or PHGG, partially hydrolyzed um, guar gum. And that is also used to treat SIBO when people are on antibiotics, rifaximin, it used to help, it's used to help that treatment be more effective. But let's talk first for a moment about my Trust Your Gut course where we help you through issues like SIBO, large intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or you know, dysbiosis in general of either site and uh, imbalanced um, gut bacteria, but also not enough hydrochloric acid or enzymes. We walk you through all the steps to create gut health. And that's all in information that you can digest at your own pace and watch on modules at your own pace, but also have resources and have a private group where you can ask us questions, myself and my team, and then have a coaching call with us every week for the life of the program. So you don't, the program doesn't end. It's a lifetime membership to the program for as long as the program exists. So if you're having gut issues, that's a really great way to work with us. It's the only way to work with us right now. And um, I just recommend that you follow the link down below for the like, set up a call to talk with our team. So back to SIBO and prebiotics. So PHGG is my favorite form of prebiotic. Why? Because it is a low FODMAP food. It's more easy to, it's already pre-digested by an enzyme. So 
it does not flare your symptoms usually. Now there could be the person, there's always somebody that can have a reaction that's not like most, but most people tolerate that well and it does help heal their SIBO because um, it has been shown in those studies to help heal that, to feed the good bacteria and to be easy, more easily digested. So that's the one that I recommend. Some other providers recommend lactulose also, which can be helpful and help improve your good gut bacteria and more easily tolerated. There's one called GOS that can be helpful as well. The one I would stay away from if you have SIBO is FOS, fructologosaccharides. It's in a lot of symbiotic blends where you have prebiotics added to your probiotics. And then also I would stay away from inulin or chicory root fiber because it's super hard to digest when you have SIBO. So if you're prebiotic, read the label. If it has those, I mean, if you're probiotic or prebiotic has those in there, I would stay away from that. Get the Sun Fiber or PHGG. Um, and I have some affiliate links down below to show you what I've used with my patients. And that will be more easily tolerated until you improve that SIBO. Now I have videos on all the steps to improve your gut health as well. So I would recommend you check that out and check out my playlist down below. We also have a PDF for SIBO, um, and it's more focused on methane SIBO, but there's also lots of tips in there for SIBO improvement. So you can sign up for that down below and the free webinar. You can also join our private group on Mighty Networks. So that's a free group separate from the Trust Your Gut group. And that's just lots of great information on gut health, hormone health, just a private way we can all talk and give tips and recipes and resources to improve your gut mouth, gut mouth gut health and keep this mission going. So thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next week.